clashes of Fatah and Hamas, but there's also some deals going on with some of these terrorist countries with Iran and Saudi Arabia. Uh, you want to talk a little more about that, David? Yeah, Hamas is actually over in Saudi Arabia trying to make a deal there, you know, so they're negotiating now. You know, there was, uh, I think back in, uh, hopefully help from my memory, but I think back in 2019, Iran was able to cause great damage to uh, when the Abrahamic Accords were trying to get signed. They, they were attacked by uh, drones and missiles and it hurt their, their oil infrastructure. So since America is not willing to intervene, uh, to the Arabs, they say, well, they're going to have a war over in Taiwan. They're going to have a war over here in Ukraine. And their uh, America is blowing all their ammo on uh, Ukraine's defenses. So they're not going to be able to help. So this is our time, you know, yeah. and, and uh, so that so Hamas is making a deal with uh, Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia says, look, wow. I'm not going to hearken to to uh to um america anymore because they're not they're unreliable and our administration in, is not we're in a bad shape we're in america is in bad shape which means the west and the world is in bad shape mm. may god help us it, it, it is a time where okay there are things that are happening in the u.s most people may not be even aware of it but you have things in the world happening right now that are, are you know, world-shaking events. Uh, the, the, just because they don't happen now doesn't mean they won't happen later. But you have, have things in Israel like Hezbollah, you know, armed to the teeth, ready to go in the north, Hamas in the south, Syria, Iraq, the Houthis in Yemen. Uh, obviously, in Gaza, we have Hamas and uh, the Islamic Jihad and stockpile of basically capable of reaching central Israel. Um, and, and we haven't even counted what Iran is able to do with their drone technology, which is far more advanced than people give it credit for. Uh, they were selling uh, drones to Russia, Russian technology, I mean, uh, drone technology to Russia. So uh, this is, uh, as to quote Jacob, this is quite an amazing, quite a thing that's going on there. And yet very little attention is, is given uh, I know the problems with Israel are, uh, you know, they, they were difficult. There still are within the judicial reform, and they're in a weaker situation now because nobody really, not, not everybody, but there's quite a bit of people that are against their government right now. Netanyahu's uh, uh, extreme orthodox uh, regime, and it's it's in the judicial reform, not very popular within Israel. So they're on a, a weaker state. The U.S. is in bad shape. It's it just like a scenario uh, where none of the allies can help. Israel's on on their own, and they have to fight their enemies. Uh, it's 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 you can see it's very biblical if you go back to the Old Testament, a very biblical time. Uh, but yet we're living through 2023, and uh, it, it's it's quite different than it was back then. And yet it's the same, isn't it? Quite different, but it's the same. Rely on God. Being in Jerusalem. Uh, where the enemies came right at the gates and God promised that they wouldn't destroy Jerusalem. Uh, we, we're at that situation. Uh, Jay, any thoughts on, on Israel? I know we, we keep track of it. And I know Jacob uh, was in Israel. We wanted to get him on and talk about what he saw, what's going on there, but we couldn't do it. Any thoughts on what's going on there? I do have a, a singular thought. Um, you know, uh, the Bible says that he will make Jerusalem a heavy stone. And it will crush any nation that tries to carry it, I believe, is what it says. Yeah, and I'm so. thinking, I'm thinking right now, China is trying to carry that stone by by oh. bringing together the, the the Saudis with Iran. They are now putting their foot into a pool that they've never been in. So I wonder what the ramifications for China are going to be when the Lord turns to them. Yeah, I'll just Hold back on. that up a little bit with Jay too. It's just kind of like I was just reading. I think it was only yesterday or the day before that China wants to be a, a broker of peace between Israel and um, the Palestinians, the yeah. and it's taking a very pro-Palestinian stance. Um, the article I read was very 
demonizing and very hard on Israel, basically saying it's all Israel's fault. And um, <laughs> so that so just reinforces what Jay said. Yeah. Wow. The same thing. Yep. Wow. The, the, the same thing that other nations have accused Israel of and the UN, of course, have been at the forefront of that. Uh, now it's China's turn. That, that is an interesting thing. I, I didn't think about that, but it makes yeah. it total China sense. And Russia, China and Russia will be calling for peace after this starts. You know, oh, let's have peace. Let's have peace. And if the war's over in two weeks, oh, there'll be peace. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Actually, it was, on, yeah. it was on Monday. Yeah, China's foreign minister said Beijing is ready and willing to play a constructive role in promoting peace in the, in the region. Uh, we call on all parties, Israel in particular, to show calm and restraint and immediately stop all words and deeds that might heighten tension. So they're really coming down more on the pro-Palestinian pro side. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, no. I, 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 Israel is facing the question, Marco, Israel is facing the question, do we strike first against Iran? Wow. This, is, this is something they are there, and we know that America will not have our back. This is a big question wow. for Israel. It's come down to this. You know, you, you would think that the last time they probably had these sort of questions was when Obama was there, but even then, even when Obama was there, they were still more confident. I, I, the U.S. wasn't as weak economically and politically and destabilized as it is now, so it is, I don't think it's ever been, maybe Nixon times where Nixon wasn't really sure they were going to help him, and, 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 but they, he finally did. Uh, but, even, but even then the U.S. was stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like it, they needed the U.S. to win. Now it, it'd probably be a detriment <laughs> in a lot of ways just because we're, we're under judgment um, you know, of the Lord with, with this current administration. 